this is A Fitness checking back in with another video and I have kept you waiting for this one but it's finally here. So in this video I'm going to be showing you an insight into my personality not to do with bodybuilding, all the other aspects of my personality, lol, personality that you didn't know about before but you will now after watching this. So how this video is going to work is that I'm going to show you a few different interests of mine and also show you a few clips that are fished out from previous years demonstrating when I'm performing the skill or whatever it is. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for your continued support and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you do so. And I still got a sore throat from Friday when I was trying to talk to people during the club because you have to shout at them. If you don't know what I'm talking about check out my full day of eating video I'll leave a link in the description below. I've been very interested in music for my whole life. I've played, no, I play three instruments. I play the piano, the violin slash viola, because I started off playing violin, then I moved to viola, and I also did some singing for my music A level. So just here, I've got my piano grade 8 certificate, and I achieved that with a pass with ABRSM, which means Associated Board of the Royal School of Music, I think. And then I achieved my grade 1 to 7 in violin. Oh, and I did all the other grades in piano as well. I achieved grade 1 to 7 in violin. Then I was introduced to my uncle's viola when I was in college. And then I did my grade 8 on viola, which you'd be surprised, but it's very similar to violin, but it's just a different clef. And here I achieved grade 8 viola with a merit. And with my violin and viola, I've been part of the local district orchestra and the county orchestra. And I've toured in Belgium and in Prague. They were my main two tours. My best achievement with the county orchestra is when we competed in a music festival in Birmingham. And the first time we did it, we only came runners up. But the second time we did it, we actually won it. And that gave us the chance to perform with the London Philharmonic Orchestra. I did that last year, I think, or a couple of years ago. And what we did is we performed a couple of pieces to GCSE students with the London Philharmonic Orchestra, which was a brilliant experience. And I got to play with some very experienced players and I could learn from them as well. Here's just a quick clip of me performing with my secondary school at one of the Christmas concerts I did once. <laughs> And with the county and district orchestras, we've performed at venues like the Worthing Assembly Hall. And this is just one brochure from that. And we did those every half term. And even one time, Carl Jenkins said he was going to come along, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. Let me know in the comment section below if you know who he is, or I can explain to you who he is in the comment section below if you don't know who he is. That kind of didn't make sense, but... On a similar subject, when I was at my secondary school, I was very fond of drama and music and performing in musicals. And I was fortunate enough to be able to perform in musicals every year while I was at secondary school in year 7, 8, 9, 10. In year 7, I performed in West Side Story as one of the Jets. In year 8, it was Sweeney Todd. Year 9, Les Mis. And in year 10, it was Evita. And I was... By the way, apologies for the envelope. It's just for confidentiality reasons. But I'm just there, and I was playing Peron in Evita, which is basically the main dude in it. That was a very unique experience, but I managed to learn a lot from different people, and it also built my confidence greatly. So if you struggle with that, join a drama group, because that could easily build your confidence. Moving swiftly on to sport, I thought I'd chuck this in anyway, but this is my gold award with my swimming, just to show you that I can swim, and I am a lifeguard anyway. And this is my FA refereeing certificate. I got this in December 2013. No, September 2013. Then I actually started refereeing in December. And for some reason, I decided to start doing adults and kids. Adults was a very bad idea because I was only 17 and they were intimidating me so much that by April 2014, I was kind of a bit too scared to do refereeing. But it was a great experience nonetheless. And this was the top I had to wear as well. I did look very smart in it, I have to say. And I definitely will go back to refereeing one day, but I like being just a lifeguard at the moment. When on holiday, I've achieved my windsurfing level one 
and my sailing level one so that means I'm okay at sailing and windsurfing I guess. Another big achievement though was when I was at secondary school and I got a chance to be a games maker at the London 2012 Paralympics and one of my main roles as a volunteer at the London 2012 Paralympic Games with my secondary school was that I was a sitting volleyball ball boy so I was handing players the ball for when they needed to serve I was collecting balls during the warm-up even wiping up sweat to be honest but it was such a good experience I was on TV I think maybe a couple of times maybe on YouTube but unfortunately we didn't get to do the final but it was such a good experience traveling up there and being amongst the atmosphere and that was so fun a few more things I used to be a very keen goalkeeper and the best I achieved with that was with my school I got into the last 32 with my school team in the National Cup that was a very good achievement we won the Sussex Cup in year 9 where we got to play at Worthing's football ground which is Ryman League division level which is pretty good and I also played for my district Horsham district for a couple of games in the under 16 squad which was a really good experience and the last game I can properly remember which was when I was representing my college and I got my first red card was when the ball was outside the box there was an oncoming striker and I thought okay I'll just go and pick it up and I did then I looked around and realized I was way out my penalty box and I picked the ball up deliberately so the referee had no choice but to send me off but I was like you know hashtag YOLO here's a couple of clips of me when I first started out goalkeeping Yes. I was also a very keen runner more recently and I've competed in a half marathon, the Barnes Green half marathon where I achieved a time of 96 minutes and also I competed in a competition called Mel Smiler's 10k, that was in 2012, this is the trophy I got. So I was 16 at the time and I achieved a 10 kilometer time of 37 minutes and 42 seconds which apparently was pretty good and the reason I stopped running was because I was getting too thin and I wanted to be amongst all my friends be a bit more intimidating towards them not in a mean way but I just wanted to be bigger have more authority I think I will go back to running when I'm older but my main focus at the moment is going to the gym and lifting weights here's a couple of clips of me competing when I was a keen runner So that's kind of competitive. I like to take full credit for all this training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, Master's really helpful. Get out there and run. Yes, managing his affairs as well. How's Master. it feel, Al? Feels good. It's hot there. What's Master's your time? Out. And something else you didn't know about me, I've been a fully committed Christian for all my life. I'm an Anglican Christian. I was baptised when I was younger, but only in the last couple of years I've started taking Christianity seriously. It doesn't mean I go around doing the whole crosses thing and praying whenever I can at every other moment. Basically, I just lead a life that Jesus would have wanted, and I make sure I try and radiate that to other people, but I don't force it upon them. So basically, it's just living a normal life, but just following Jesus and reading the Bible. Hope you enjoyed that video guys, I apologise that it's quite long but I wanted to show you a good insight into other aspects of my personality other than bodybuilding. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, check out all my videos, have a good day guys and I'll see you in the next video. And keep making games. <laughs>